assalamu alaikum in this video i'll discuss ratio and proportion a ratio is a fraction that compares two quantities measured in the same units it expresses the relationship between the quantities of two or more objects indicating the amount of one object contained in the other jab bhi aapne do koi bhi object ya cheezon ko ratio mein express karna hoga to sabse pehle aapko unka unit same karna hoga फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर कोई ऑब्जेक्ट्स मिनट्स और आवर्स में दिए हुए हैं तो मिनट्स को आवर्स में या आवर्स को मिनट्स में सब टू यू यू कैन कन्वर्ट इन इधर ऑफ दैम ऑफ योर चॉइस सिमिलरली अगर कोई चीज़ आपको मीटर्स और सेंटीमीटर्स में दी हुई है उसे भी आप यूनिट्स को सेम करेंगे सेंटीमीटर टू मीटर और मीटर टू सेंटीमीटर आपने कन्वर्ट करना होगा according to your choice which whatever is convenient for you baki bhi jitni bhi aapko given honge koi bhi unit aapke paas hoga to usko aapne isi tarah se same karna hoga aur general way kya hai ratio ko express karne ka a ratio b ye jo do dots hain isko colon hum read karte hain ye a ratio b is generally way to represent the ratio where this the first object a is antecedent and the b is consequent ratio ko hum fraction mein bhi express kar sakte hain second way hai isko likhne ka a upon b where a is numerator and b is denominator to ye aapke paas fraction hai isko jaise ki humne percentage ke topic mein discuss kiya tha kaise hum फ्रैक्शन को डेसिमल में और डेसिमल को परसेंटेज में परसेंटेज को फ्रैक्शन में कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं इसीलिए हम इस तरह से रेशियो को भी कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं डेसिमल में और परसेंटेज में भी नाउ हियर लेट अस कंसीडर एन एग्जांपल इफ देयर आर फोर बॉयज एंड 16 गर्ल्स ऑन द डिबेट टीम we say that the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls on the team is 4 to 16 ye third way hai aap is tarah se bhi ratio ko express kar sakte hain 4 to 16 now we will see that how many ways are here to represent a ratio first one is 8 4 to 16 then for ratio 16 you can place here the colon and then 4 upon 16 in the fraction form you can also represent a ratio now you can simplify these ratio like 4 to 16 is equivalent to 2 to 8 actually you can divide on both side by 2 you will get 2 to 8 similarly you can present in other two way then 1 to 4 you can further simplify it 2 to 8 you can divide it by 2 you will get 1 to 4 and you can represent it in the fraction form as well here you can see that the last one this one is the simplest form of the ratio we cannot further simplify it so it's a simplest form of the ratio and here you can see that these are the fraction and we know that we can convert these fraction into the decimal form and then percent form as well now what are the equivalent ratios as we have seen in the previous slide equivalent ratios represent the same comparison but with the different quantities for example here 2 to 3 and 4 to 16 4 to 6 are the equivalent because they expresses the same comparison this mean here we have two object for each three and then four object for each six objects they actually express the same comparison same relation between two objects 
simplest form of or reduced form of the ratio here ratio can be simplified by dividing both sides by the same number if we are given any ratio we can divide it by the same number on both side to get a simplest form of the ratio an alternative method for some purposes is to reduce to the form 1 ratio n or n ratio 1 by dividing both numbers by either the left hand side or the right hand side for example if you are given 4 to 10 this ratio then how you can simplify it to the simplest form you just need to take any of the number here you can take left hand side or the right hand side let us take the left hand side 4 so you need to divide by 4 on both side you will get here it will be cancelled out and you get 1 ratio 2.5 when you will divide 10 by 4 similarly in other example here you can see that we have 8 ratio 5 now you can take 5 you can divide by 5 throughout the ratio here and you will get here 8 upon 5 and you can divide it you will get 1.6 and 5 will be cancelled out with 5 and you will get 1 here. And these are the simplest form of these ratios. In question number 1, here we are asked that write each of the these ratio in its simplest form. So first is 7 ratio 14 so how we can convert it into the simplest form we need to divide it either by the first number or the second number we know that here the common factor is 7 highest greatest common factor so we'll divide by that and we will get here 1 we know that here when we will divide it by 7 it will be cancel out and we will get 1 and here we will get 2 similarly for the second one 15 and 25 we will divide it by 5 because here the greatest common factor is 5 so whenever we will divide it by 5 we will get here 3 ratio 5 that is the simplest form of the ratio 15 25 for the c we have ratio 10 4 10 ratio 4 so here we will divide it by 2 by the greatest common factor and we will get the simplest form of this ratio write this ratio in the form 1 ratio m so now this time it is given that you need to convert it 1 ratio n jab aapko is tarah se given hoga to it is understood ke aapne first jo left hand side hai usko 1 ke equal karna hai aur second koi bhi number ho sakte hai aapke paas so, it is necessary that you will divide this ratio by 3. Then you will get here 1. So, how will be the solution? You will divide this ratio by 3. You will get here 3 divided by 3. It will be cancelled out and you get 1. And here this will be 4. And for the second, you will divide it by 5. Because this time it is mentioned that you need to get here 1 and you will divide it by 5 and then you will get here 1 ratio n here this form 1 ratio n similarly for the c part you will divide it by 10 and you will get this ratio if a set of objects is divided into two groups in the ratio of 
a b then the first group contains a upon a plus b of the objects and the second group contains b upon a plus b of the objects जब भी आपको ये परसेंटेज में भी मैंने आपको बताया था कि जब भी आपको कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट्स टू ग्रुप्स में डिवाइडेड होते हैं तो फर्स्ट का रेशो फाइंड करने के लिए हमें ये फार्मूला यूज करना है ए अपॉन ए प्लस बी और सेकेंड वन के लिए बी अपॉन ए प्लस बी नाउ वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन थ्री लास्ट ईयर द रेशो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ टेनिस मैचेस दैट सेंट्रल कॉलेज Women team won to the number of matches they lost was seven ratio three. What percent of their matches did the team win? अब यहाँ इस क्वेश्चन में आप देखें कि आपको ऑर्डर को यू नीड टू कीप इन माइंड दैट व्हाट इस द ऑर्डर ऑफ वॉन टू लॉस्ट. सो वॉन इस गिवन फर्स्ट. सो दिस मींस सेवन इस द नंबर ऑफ वॉन मैचेस. And three is the lost matches. So the matches the team won is seven. Matches the team lost three. And then you need to tell that what percent of their matches did the team win. We know that the win. The won matches are seven, so we need to tell the fraction first, and then we will convert that into the percentage. So the number of the ratio of the matches the team won would be seven upon a plus b, so that would be a seven plus three, and then. We can convert it into seven upon ten. So it mm, it is better to not write here the percent of their matches, but it is the ratio of their matches the team won seven upon seven plus three. So don't write here the percent. So in the last step, that would be the percent of their matches to team won. That would be seventy percent. Now the fourth question: If forty-five percent of students at the college are male, what is the ratio of male students to female students? So here, what are given here? Given information is that total number of male are forty percent. So whenever you have this kind of problem, it is the best. You take just assume that total number of students are hundred because we know that it is really easy to find that what is the number what is the number that is forty five percent of hundred so that would be forty five so number of male students forty five number of female students would be hundred minus forty five that would be fifty five and then The ratio of male to female is forty-five upon fifty-five. Further, we can convert it into the simplest form, like this. Thank you. See you in the next video.